Hey, beautiful people, and welcome back to another episode of the Edit With Me Monday show. Actually, this is an outdoor episode of the Edit With Me Monday show because I'm talking all about editing photos right on your phone. So I thought, hey, I can, I can do this video from anywhere. Let's go outside. So today I'm gonna go over my six favorite apps for editing photos on Android. Let's get at it. All right, so some of the apps that I'm gonna talk about are just super fun or they have one specific purpose, but the first two I'm gonna talk about are apps that you should probably really have on your phone. I really think that everyone needs that go-to app that's really robust, you can do a lot with, and you learn well to go and do all of your main photo edits. Now, the two apps that I'm gonna suggest are Lightroom Mobile and Snapseed. Which one should you use? Well, it kind of depends on who you are, what is your purpose in taking photos. So if you're a photographer and maybe you're just getting started or you've been doing it for a while, you should really get the Lightroom mobile app because then you're gonna learn the interface about Lightroom and they have an amazing professional level desktop version. So if you think you're gonna go the photo route, you wanna be a photographer, you, that's really what you wanna do, learn the Lightroom mobile app, start, you can start on it for totally free and then as you grow you can kind of do the paid version and then you can get the desktop version and you'll kind of already know what you're doing like you'll have an idea of how to use it so when you open up the app you can have a bunch of folders albums for your photos which is just a really nice way to organize it you can have uh, make your own presets do all kinds of things lighting color contrast detail so so much but what I love is that you can have your own presets. So I have my own kind of sunset one. Just tap that, the photo looks great. It's awesome, I'm done. Now, if you're not at all a photographer, but you just love having great photos, maybe you create other content, or you just wanna have great photos for Instagram, or you just wanna have great photos of your family and your friends, then you should get Snapseed. Because Snapseed is almost as good as Lightroom in terms of what you can do, but it is way, way simpler. Everything is really easily laid out, it's easy to use, and it's only a mobile app, so that's all it is, that's all it does, so you should learn that one if you're just into having great photos. The other thing with Snapseed is they have a ton of other tools, and they're really easily laid out. So again, just like Lightroom, details, curves, all that kind of stuff. I'm not gonna go too much into like, all the how-tos in this video, but if you want like an in-depth uh, mobile editing video, I'll do that. This one's just more about cool apps to go check out and try. So now that you hopefully have a great go-to app, either Lightroom or Snapseed, and you've done the basic edits in your photo, what are some things you can do to kind of take it to the next level, add that like spicy element where people see it on the gram and they're like, what? How did they do that? My secret one for that, it's actually not a secret, a lot of people know about it, but if you don't yet, about to blow your mind. It is called Lens Distortions. Go download this app right now. It's so good. You basically can add in sun flares and ugh, just makes your photos look super nice. So let's take that one that I did just a second ago, open it up. Uh, and now we're basically just gonna go ahead and add a light hit. So they have all these different kinds you can choose from. They even have like shimmers, other little things. This is a great app. Uh, so go take your sun hit, throw it in, and that's it. It's so easy, this app is so easy. You can really like take it far and do really cool things. But see, it just like adds a whole other element to your photo, like you got it at that perfect golden hour sun flare thing. Get lens distortions, it's awesome. The next app I'm gonna talk about is called Afterlight. And I really, really like this app. Not a ton of people know about it, but it's really cool to just sort of like take your photo to a next level. It's the app that you can use if you wanna add in like that vintage film grain effect. So just open up the app. Again, they also have really, really nice filters, pre-done presets, things like that for your photos that just make it really, really easy. You can do all the basic edits here. I don't really use this app for that though. Uh, and then you can go in and add cool, cool light leaks or the dusty things. Why I like the light leaks in Afterlight is these light leaks, they're not flares, they're not necessarily anything real, but they just look super cool. So go in, check them out. You can change the colors. You can add in just like super cool things. And you can change the amount to which you have it added in there. 
and then of course you can add the dust and grain and all that kind of stuff to it if you want. You can really do it over the top. Done, that looks great. So if you're making notes, Afterlight is great for cool different kind of light leaks and dusty vintage film effects. All right, so the next app I'm gonna talk about is great for one thing and one thing only, and that is black and white photos. I'm a huge fan of black and white photos. I think they just look so cool. And this app really helps you find a cool style for that. It's called Hippocam. Hypocam, I'm not sure if it's hippo or hypo. Let me know if you know. Uh, anyway, open it up, go in and choose your photo. Uh, let's do this flower pick, change it up. So it kind of will just automatically there uh, put it into black and white, but they have a bunch of really cool black and white filters. Really, you can see how much you can do with black and white. Like, I, I don't think I ever really appreciated how much you could do until I got this app and just really like looked at and studied all the differences. So if you're into black and white photos, that's gonna be the app for you. So the last app that I'm gonna mention is just a super fun app. It basically makes your photos look like it was taken in 1998, which is totally unnecessary, but very, very cool. It's called Hoojicam. So when you open it up, it actually opens it up and makes it look like it's an old Polaroid, which is just kind of fun and cool and a little bit lame, but whatever. So go in it. Take your photo, Let's do one over here, snap it. Does this little processing thing, which is again, super corny, but super fun. So that's Huji, basically just makes your photos look old and retro and all that jazz. It's just, it's just a fun one. Like I use it for stories and things like that. Nothing too serious. All right, so there you have it. Those are my six favorite apps for editing photos on Android, right on your phone. And I do have to just say big thanks to my friends over at BlackBerry. They, they sent me this new BlackBerry Key 2. They were like, Lucy, just try it out, see how you like it. And I have to say, I'm, I'm really liking Android. Like I'm really impressed with this phone. Anyway, if you want to learn more about photo editing, editing in Lightroom, be sure to subscribe. Until next time, peace out.